Hey everybody and welcome back to Passion and Pain Reviews. Of course, I am Extreme Heat Pete. How's everybody doing today? I hope everyone is feeling fantastic and enjoying this kind of nice weather we've got going on. Well, here in the UK, it's kind of overcast. It's quite warm today and things are just going to get even warmer and warmer here in the studio because I'm just about to bring you a source review and this source review comes from none other than Harriet Hot. You can find these guys on Facebook and Instagram. You can also purchase their products from www.somelikeit.shop. Their link is in the description below. So today's source, as I just said, comes from Herit Hop, uh, Scottish artisan source producers. And this is their Louisiana style seaweed sauce. You heard me right, seaweed sauce. Now, you don't see many seaweed sauces on the market, which is good, which makes this one stand out from the rest. So there we go. Here it up. Seaweed sauce. So I'm now going to give you a little bit of uh, information about what it says on the bottle before I try it. I'll do a couple of spoons and then I'll tell you exactly what's in this sauce. So... Sons of Scotland, I'm a producer of, I'm, I'm a Professor Hot, but Professor Hot is seven, seven feet tall, yes, you heard, yes, you've heard, kills men and, kills men by the hundreds, if he were here he'd consume the sauce and shoot fireballs from his eyes and bolts of lightning from his arse, I am Professor Hot, I am I know I have a whole bag of chilies here to spice up, spice things up. You have come to eat as free men and free, free eating men you are. What would you do without hot sauce? Would be bland food. Without Scottish, without Scottish seaweed, no. Without Scottish seaweed, no, we run and we'll live. Uh, eat and you eat and you may cry. Run and you may live. At least while you're dying in your beds, many meals from now. Would you be willing to trade all the meals from dinner to snack for that one chance? To eat once more with seaweed hot sauce they may take your lives but they'll never take our flavor spinra graph brave okay so I struggle to get my words out then there's a lot of complicated words I know I am of course dyslexic so I hope that made some sense to you anyway now, spinach hot, uh, seaweed hot sauce it's a quite a loose looking sauce. Give it a good shake, mix things up a bit. Now, it's not the colour you'd um, associate with seaweed, it's like a reddish sauce, seaweed green. But it looks like it's quite a loose sauce. I love the wax sealed tops. I'm just seeing if my knife is available. And it is. There we go. So, all Harriet hot sauces. Of course, wax sealed. So we'll just break the wax seal on that. There we go. No pop, slight pop. This is the build up of pressure on the sauce itself. But at least it's not fermented like the. Um, that sauce what exploded on me. Remember that video where they opened the bottle and it just shot out like a volcano? Yeah, well this has not happened this time round. So mm -mm. don't smell too bad. Mmm. Let's see what the, the pause like. Yeah, it's quite loose. Now, yet again, I'd recommend a restrictor on this because it's quite a loose sauce. I'm not normally a big fan of restrictors, but 
in this case this source seems to need a restriction because it's very very loose mm. you can taste the seaweed in that that was delicious you can <clears throat> taste those Louisiana flavors it's not too hot it's not too mild the vinegar content is the balance of that vinegar is just right uh, Harriet sauces pride themselves on flavor forward sauces and this is packing the flavor now uh, it says on your bottle here that is a four out of ten on a heat scale for me I would not say it's a four out of ten but that's personal preference for me I'd say it's about a two on the heat scale but it's still very very enjoyable uh, non chilli heads if you have this and it probably will be a 4 out of 10 on your heat scale but for me I'm peaking at a 2 but the flavours are banging there we go nice big spoon that is really really enjoyable it's refreshing it's got some sweet notes to it that seaweed is obviously punchy the chilies are quite punchy we're going to go through the ingredients right now what this contains so we have got vinegar red chili rice wine vinegar salt garlic powder seaweed one percent not high content seaweed but that one percent you can taste and the fact that it's got two types of vinegar in it's still not overpowering on that vinegar you know you've got the uh, vinegar and then you've got the r rice vinegar it doesn't overpower the flavors of those red chilies the garlic and the seaweed perfectly perfectly balanced just trying to think of what this will go really well with. I think it might work well as a salad dressing. Uh, in your Chinese stir fries could be pretty good in stir fry. Stir fry could work. A drizzled over your pork probably work really well. With pork, chicken. I wouldn't say it would work well with beef or lamb. Uh, that's about it, really. Of course, if you're a non-meat eater, over your goat's cheese salads probably work really well with goat's cheese salad. Actually, the salad leaves and the cheese could work. As that nutritional values, we are looking at per 150 ml serving. You're looking at 168 calories. Oh no, no, wrong, wrong. 41 calories per serving, which is not too bad. As you can see, it's a uh, 150 mil bowl and the Facebook and Instagram pages there. So that was purchased from my source sponsors, which is www.somelikehot.shop. Please check out their range of over 600 plus hot sources from all over the world. Right now, if you use that code EXTREME10 at the checkout, you will receive 10% off all your orders, which is saving you blink your bennies and bones. The more you spend, the more you say winner winner, chicken dinner, get some Harriet Hot seaweed sauce on your dinner. So that is that one. Also, please check out my pain relief sponsors, which is Dr. B's Elixir Cooling Mouth Spray for pain relief from consuming spicy foods or challenges. This stuff basically works by numbing the pain receptors in the mouth, sending the signals to the brain making you believe you've just eaten something really mild when you've not you've eaten something really really hot uh, definitely worth checking out now remember if you go out for a meal with your mates on a friday night you order the hottest thing on the menu normally they yeah, the fowl extra hot fowl the chef's in the kitchen he's laughing he's thinking he's got you a good well uh, you're consuming your curry and you all of a sudden pull this out a few pumps this in your mouth and boom that heat of that curry 
and the pain of that curry is gone by 60 to 70 percent now if you wish to purchase yourself a bottle of this the prices are right there in the description below and if you head over to my social media platforms which is peter luke ehp sullivan on facebook or passion and pain reviews on instagram drop me a message and we can get a bottle of that sent out to you with free postage and packing within the uk or 10 euros postage and packing for european orders now please remember to give me a oh also check out my other sponsor which is ethanol gaming community all your online gaming needs and vr gaming needs it's got some great content on this channel right now uh some family friendly content he's also relaunching a few things so it's worth checking out he's got loads of content he does it with his partner and sometimes his kids join the kids streams too now please remember to give me a big thumbs up say he enjoys it yeah please share your friends family smash that red button turn it gray not to do keep on subscribing the more you subscribe the more amazing product reviews i bring your way filmed right here in the passion and pain studios also remember to wait for it to come back around ring that bell be notified every time i upload a video right now right well we've got plenty of videos coming your way over the next year or so please do what you got to do but all right for now i have been extreme heat peak this has been passion and pain reviews thank you all for tuning in i will see you all again very very soon not sure what the video will be but it'll be something really interesting but now ehp is out of here bye